Hey guys, here we are at the assembling of my new grinder. This is the one we bought. Um, I need a grinder to help make my warm chow. I was going to get the tall silver one that um, you rock back and forth, but I have trouble with my hands and I don't think I could do that for a long time. So we looked into this one and this one, you just put the stuff in the hopper and you pour your stuff here and it comes out the bottom. So it's like a continuous flow. I don't have to open it and keep adding different ingredients and closing it um, because well, my hands are a little messed up right now. So I'll keep you posted on this and I'll bring you back. So this is the name of it and that is the strength. Um, the instructions are pretty clear. You just have to read it step by step and we'll see what happens. So to get this in here was a little challenging but there's one nut on the inside and the other one on the outside. And we had to kind of squeeze this together to do it, but it seems to be okay like that. So now we're gonna flip it over. And we're gonna see how tall it is because I'm only five foot two. And luckily this table adjusts, like the legs go up and down, so um, he'll adjust it for me as far as I can. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we had put the <laughs> legs on backwards. <laughs> So since we put this side over here, it was tipping over, <laughs> so we knew something was wrong. So we switched it and now it's balanced. And you know, for me, I'm five foot two. This is like the perfect height. So I'll be able to work with it fine. <laughs> My husband told me, um, he actually told me to lower it and I didn't listen. But now I went back to his idea, so I was wrong. It's all good. <laughs> so now we're installing the top part to be able to put the hopper on there. This little thing slides back and forth so that you can stop it or, or keep pouring in there. So we were able to attach this cover because in here there's the cooling fan with these little screws and we put this label sticking up so that you know I can read it and now attaching the, um, the hopper. And this little thing slides in and out to close the hole, open the hole. So so far so good. So Joe went to get a pair of pliers so he could tighten these and this down here. Um, looks pretty good. Look at the top. Now some of these come with a plastic hopper. I picked the one with the stainless steel. I also picked one of these that came with this included because some of the sellers on eBay, they're charging separate for this and I didn't want to do that. Um, plus it was free shipping. So I think the blue is an attractive color. And then we got the front here. Now this thing, you can adjust it to how fine you want your stuff to grind. The coarser, you know, the looser you do it, the tighter and the finer it comes out. So it's nice. So he's gonna tighten these screw things down here. Needed two pliers though, one for here and one for here. So let's see what the inside looks like. Oh boy, look at that. Nice motor, that's Olive and Nina. Look. So I know this has to be um, oiled with, I'm assuming a food grade type of lube and <clears throat> maintain it clean obviously and it's ready to go. So this is a wet dry one. If I wanna do something wet to go through the hopper, it'll come out of here and then you have to open this up and clean it, but I, I won't do that. I don't need anything wet to go through it, but it's nice to have that option. So we can't over tighten these things because it, it'll make the, the blade in there, the grinder, it'll just make it work like harder because it'll be so tight. So the finer you want the stuff, obviously you put it a little tighter and the looser it is, you know, a little thinner. I hope it brings you tighter. many years of happy grinding. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for building it. Absolutely. <laughs>